Hey guys, my name is Deb Nani and I'm from Aussie Mail. Welcome to our Chain Mail tutorial channel. Hey guys, big hi, hello, welcome, how are you today? Thanks for popping in and spending some time with me. So today I've got a redo of a previous tutorial that we put up on here. Uh, this was a request from one of our customers. So today I'm going to be redoing the half Persian three in one spine weave. All right guys, let's get into it. Okay guys, I've got some sample pieces made up here for you of the half Persian three in one spine weave. I'll have those sizes uh, listed up here on the side of the video as well as down in the description below the video for you but to run through them quickly with you now this one over here in the red is 14 gauge AWG so that's 1.6 millimeter diameter wire the bright aluminium rings the silver ones were 7 millimeter ID and the anodized rings are a quarter of an inch or 6.35 millimeters uh, 16 gauge AWG 1.2 millimeter diameter wire version the silver rings are 5.25 millimeter ID and the colored rings are 3 sixteenths of an inch or 4.76 millimeters 18 gauge AWG 1.0 millimeter diameter wire the silver rings are 4.5 millimeters and the anodized rings are 5 30 seconds of an inch or 3.97 millimeters and lastly, the little 20 gauge version, 0.8 millimeter diameter wire. The silver rings are 3.5 millimeters and the colored rings down the center are one eighth of an inch or 3.18 millimeters. So as you can see, it is a half Persian variant. It uh, stands up a little bit on the side. It's got quite a triangular shape to it. I'm not a fan of half Persian 3-in-1 by itself, but I do love the half Persian 3-in-1 variants and this one is no exception to that. Okay, so the basis of this weave is half Persian 3-in-1 right leaning. So to do that, we're going to start by closing up several of our base colour rings, in this case the bright aluminium rings. So go ahead now and close up um, a handful of those. You'll need approximately half of the rings that you're using in the half Persian section to be closed. But go ahead and close some of those up now and I'll meet you back here when we um, get that done. Okay, so once you've got your bright aluminium rings closed, we want to take up three of those rings and we want to stack them on top of each other with them leaning towards your right. So to do that, I'm going to grab a twist tie and put it through all three rings, stacking them up like this so that this just holds it in place for me initially. So grab yourself a twist tie or a piece of wire, something like that will help you start this weave. So before we start this weave, in case you haven't done any half Persian 3 and one before, um, we've got a couple of maneuvers we've got through the eye now the eye is formed where two rings or two or more rings overlap and form this shape here this is called the eye so through the eye means we go straight through like this straight through the center of both of them at the same time around the eye means we go through one ring first we bring that back around and we come up through the second ring and when we close that ring, it'll be sitting around that eye, not through it like the first way. So as I said, we're going to start off doing our half Persian three in one right leaning base weave first. So get your th three rings stacked up with them leaning to the right. Take up another opened ring. And we're going to feed this around the eye that's formed by the first and the second ring. So we can just flip this one out of the way if you like. We're going to go around that eye. So we're going to go through the second ring, bring it back, come up through that first ring, close that up. And 
And that's what it looks like at the moment. I'm going to take up another opened ring. This time it's going to go through that first eye that's formed by rings one and two, but it's going to go around the eye that's formed by rings two and three. And it's going to be stacked underneath the ring that you placed previously. So there's a little bit to remember there. So what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to put the ring through my third ring here. I'm going to bring it all the way around the back and I'm going to bring it up between the eye that's formed by the first and the second ring. So through my third ring, bring it up around and bring it through that eye there. Close it up and your work should look like this. Okay, so you can see that ring's gone around this eye here, but through the eye that's formed there. So this one, we're going to pop on one of our pre-closed rings. And then before closing it, we're going to feed it through the eye that's formed by the last two rings in our weave there, going underneath that ring that we put in there previously. So this eye just in here, I'm going to go straight through there like that. Close it up. And we want to make sure that this ring here, this loose ring that we added, sits at the front of our weave. We don't want it at the back of the weave like this. We want these rings to keep stacking up on top of each other as we go along our weave here. So you can see they're stacking up on top of the previous one. If you have that one in the back there, you can see the pattern gets interrupted. So we want that one to fit over there. We're going to take up another opened ring. We're going to pop a pre-closed ring onto it. And we're going to go through the eye here that's caused by our loose ring that we just added and the ring that was previous in the weave. We're going to go straight through there, making sure we sit underneath that ring that we added before. Close that up. Make sure our loose ring sits at the front. Take up another open ring. Pop on another pre-closed ring. Again, we want to go through the eye that's formed by the last two rings in our weave. So straight through there. Okay, just like that. Make sure we're picking up just those two rings, no others. Close it up. Make sure that loose, loose ring is positioned correctly. And we just keep going like that until we've reached the length that you need your bracelet to be. Okay, so just take up a new ring, pop on your pre-closed ring. Make sure that the last ring you added is sitting in the right position. And you want to go through the last two rings, through the eye, sitting underneath the previous ring that you added. So half portion three and one means that your ring that you've got opened there goes through three rings in total. And the way that works is, so we take up our opened ring. Our pre-closed ring that we put on, that's ring number one. And then down here, we want to go through rings two and three. So we only ever go through a total of three rings. So you don't want to come through and accidentally pick up a fourth ring or anything silly like that. It goes through three rings. So you can see those three rings that our opened ring has gone through. And we close that up. Okay, make sure that that sits at the front. Another open ring pre-closed ring so through rings one two and three close it up 
So this is half Persian 3 and 1 right leaning. There is a half Persian 3 and 1 left leaning as well. That's a story for another day. So once you've got this to the length that you require, you don't want to go any further. Okay, ultimately we don't want a dangling ring on there. So what we do is we take up one more open ring and we do exactly the same except we don't put the pre-closed ring on. So we just go straight through the eye of the last two rings in our weave and we close that up. Okay, so there's your piece of half Persian three and one right leaning. We can see it's right leaning because the eyes here on the top of the weave are leaning to the right. If they were leaning the other way, that would mean that you've created a piece of half Persian three and one left leaning. All right, so once you reach the length that you desire with that, meet me back here, guys, and I'll show you the next step that we need to do. Okay, so once you've reached the, the length that you need, we're going to add our colored rings on the spine. And to do that, we're going to go around each of these eyes. So these bits just here, these are the eyes and we need to put our colored rings to encircle those. So we're going to go down through this set of rings here and back up through this set of rings here. Okay, so to show you what that looks like, taking up one of our coloured rings. I said go down through that, make sure you pick up all of those rings in that set, and then bring it back up through the previous set. Close it up. Okay, so your work looks like this at the moment. We're going to do the same for our next ring. This time though, when we bring it down, so we go down through here and then we bring it up through here and we want to make sure it sits underneath our previous ring. Okay, so to show you what I mean by that, go down to the next empty set, go down there, and then when we bring it up, bring it up underneath there like that. Okay, close it up. The work looks like this. And we just continue to do that. That's it. That's as hard as it gets. So just make sure each ring goes underneath the previous one. So down through the new set of rings in there, straight through that middle bit. Then when you come back up, just make sure you're coming up underneath the previous ring. Okay, close that up. And you just want to do that for the remaining of your weave. Down through the new one, up through the previous one. Close it up. So that's it guys, that is half Persian three in one spine. All right guys, well that's it. That's the video tutorial for today. Um, I hope the redo proved to be more helpful than the original live version that went out. Um, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up here on YouTube. Share the video if you like. Leave any comments or questions in the comment section below this video. While you're here, don't forget to check out some of our other content. There's plenty of weaves here for you to do. And last but not least, guys, don't forget to give our shop link up here in the corner a little bit of love and affection. That's where we sell all the things that you'll need to make up this tutorial and many of the others that we have here. All right, guys, thanks again for popping in and spending your day with me. Um, I hope you're keeping well and that I will see you again sometime in the very near future. Bye.